But using contact, you can get some really solid results like this score I've composed. Well, welcome back if you've been following me for really any time at all, or welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'd like to talk about how to use Contact, which is a sampler, and it's very powerful, but does require some technical know-how. Now using Contact, you can get some really solid results like this score I've composed. So again, that's just a short demonstration, but those are some of the sounds you can get from contact. Very real sounding, very powerful. But how exactly do you do that? Well, let's get into that now. Okay, so I have a fresh FL Studio session pulled up. I just kind of use the minimal empty template uh, and I'm going to pull up contact. So when you pull your contact up, it might look different. I just have some libraries and a keyboard. Now, a lot of beginners don't know this, but contact can have a lot more than just one instrument per instance of contact. You can actually have up to eight stereo and more mono if you'd like. So over here on the left hand side is your uh, library browser. You can just scroll through and see what you have. And then you can click on the instrument tab and then drag the NKI file over and the library's pulled up. Now, what a lot of beginners tend to do, and I'm guilty of this too, this is what I used to do, is I would just route contact to say one, I would call that piano, and then just add another instance of contact if I wanted another instrument. But you can add a lot more instruments than just one, so let me show you how to do that. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is go up to the uh, detailed settings of contact, which is a skier icon, go to the wrapper settings, and you have to change your uh, MIDI input. So set that to one, or you know you can set it to two, three, four, whatever. Just set it to something other than the default. I'm gonna set it to one in this case. Then go processing and do auto map outputs. Now what this is going to do is route each instrument to a separate mixer track so you can mix all the instruments separately. Uh, now that we already have one library, we want to add another. So let's just find a library we want to add. In this case, I'll be adding Electric Sunburst, but obviously you can add any other library you'd like. Just drag it over and it pulls up. But if you notice when I play a note just from contact, it just plays the piano. So how do we also add the electric guitar? Uh, we'll go to your plus and add a MIDI out. So the channel is going to be the instrument. So we'll just keep this one. So it's for the piano, but the port is for the instance of contact. So remember I was saying you have to go to this gear and uh, go settings and change the input port to one. Well, that's what this port is connecting to. So one uh, for this contact, but if we had two instances of contact, maybe we'd make the port two on this MIDI out. And so it's saying communicate with contact number two. Okay, so now that we have the MIDI out, change the port to one, which again is contact one, channel one, instrument one. Uh, and then we can just rename this piano. So now when I play any kind of MIDI from this MIDI out, the piano is what is played. But now we want to do it to the guitar, so let's set that up. So again, I'm just going to add another MIDI out. This time I'm just going to set the port to 1 and the channel to 2, and that's what's going to set it to the different instrument. And the reason is, uh, see how it says MIDI channel here, A2? Well, if you go port A2, um, then that's going to be instrument 2. If you went over here and made it three, then that would be instrument three and we'd have to change the channel to three. But it's just on two for now, so let's set that back to two. Uh, now when I play the MIDI from this, it plays the guitar. But now there's a problem. Take a look at the channel mixer down here. Whenever I play the piano, it goes to channel one, which we want. But when I play the guitar, it's also in channel one and we don't want that. How do we separate them? Well, now we need to set up outputs in contact. It's actually not too bad, so let's go through that real quick. So in contact, click on the workspace options and then go outputs, just that little square up there. Uh, then go plus 
and you can keep all the default settings the same. Press OK. Now we have stereo output one and stereo output two. So we're gonna click on these, um, this channel configuration button. And then for the physical out, um, you wanna go contact aux one and then contact aux two, which you'll say plug in out number three and plug in out number four. Um, all you have to know, oh, and when this message comes up, just press okay. Uh, is that stereo one should be this one and two for the output and then stereo two should be three and four. So left and right for both. And then all you have to do is click on the output for in this case, the electric guitar and then go stereo two. Uh, now we have two separate outputs. So let's test it out. Piano goes to one, electric guitar goes to two. So there's a lot more tips and tricks you can do in contact, but this was just kind of a crash course on how to set up multiple instruments and such. So if you have any questions that I didn't answer or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you.